Hip New Jersey Radio. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Christian Russo here for Hip NJ Radio. Uh, we have an awesome guest today on the program. During the week, he's simply known as Mr. McGlynn, a high school history and special education teacher at West Essex Regional High School right here in North Call, New Jersey. But Friday nights, he becomes Patty Mac, his honor radio persona for WFAN, the biggest sports radio station in New York City. Without further introduction, uh, here he is, the 2015 Fantasy Phenom Contest winner, Patrick McGlynn. Pat, thanks for coming on the program. Oh, thank you, Christian. It's great to be on. So uh, why don't you uh, explain, for those uh, who aren't the biggest sports fans out there, why don't you explain what you exactly won the uh, Fantasy Phenom contest? What was that? Okay. Um, yeah, WFN's been running this contest for a couple years now, and I've actually, this is the third year I entered it. And um, if you win, you have to go through a couple rounds of auditioning, and there's some fan voting that goes on too. But if you win, you get your own show for a year. They give you uh, one night a week on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, you win You win a show. You get to go on the air for two hours and, and work for the fan. Uh, and so uh, they give you that for, for a year. And... Um, and like I said, yeah, it's, it's a process. About 300, 250, 300 people enter the contest from the first round. Uh, from there, they narrowed it down to about 11. And then from there, they narrowed it down to six, uh, where we've had to make a couple appearances, do some live appearances, and do some stuff live on air. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I, I came out the winner. The first couple of years, I made the second round, but I never made it to the finals. And then uh, they usually do three rounds. Uh, so it was disheartening, but, you know, um, it was my only, it's really my only chance. It's really, uh, you know, you could go back to school and you're not really guaranteed anything. But with this contest, you go right to the top. You go right to your own show on WFAN, which is, which has always been a dream of mine. Out of 300 people, you, you were the one, the one person out of 300 people. That's fantastic. Yeah. It was, it was tough odds, but yeah. yeah. Hey, well, you made it. So that's, uh, that's amazing. And one to three in the morning, it's got to be t- uh, kind of a little bit tough adjustment, especially if you're a teacher. Yeah, luckily, I mean, it. while, uh, you know, I would love to be on more than one night a week, luckily it is only one night a week, and it's a Friday. If I had to get up for work the next day, I'd be a zombie. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. That'd, that'd so, so Friday nights are a long night, but I, I have Saturday to recover, so... I read up on the contest a little bit, and all the finalists were mentored by a personality over on the fan. And it says you were uh, mentored by Craig Carton, who's one of the morning show hosts over at the fan, and he does a lot with uh, different charity events. So a lot of people outside of this, uh, outside of sports, know him. So what was it like to be mentored by somebody like Craig Carton? Um, well, it was, it was really great. You know, um, again, it was it was funny when they interviewed us and they said, who's your favorite host? Mine was mine was Steve Summers, because, again, Steve Summers has been on there for over two decades. And uh, but uh, they asked me who I wanted to work with. I said it was Craig Carton. And then just by chance, I ended up with Carton as my coach. And uh, it was really it was really good to work with him. I, I knew he would have a lot to offer. Um, I got to meet him. I got to go in and watch the morning show, watch him do the morning show from producer's booth and then uh, hung out with him for, you know, half hour, 45 minutes going over some some tips and tricks he gave me to uh, what to put into my time and what the contest, you know, what the next round of contest was going to be like. Uh, and the, the most important tip he gave me was really to keep it personal. You know, when you when you keep it personal, uh, things come from the heart and it's easier for it's easier for you to talk about it and more people can relate to it. So. Yeah. So the exact deal uh, with uh, FAN is you get you get the year long contract, uh, the one the one night a week. Do they ever give you another like uh, another night to fill in maybe for somebody if they're sick or can't make it? Well, I got to tell you, actually, I've been on the air. I've done seven shows so far, and uh, two of the shows that I've done have actually gone from three to six instead of one to three. They switched my time slot with um, with just the overnight guy uh, who, you know, for whatever reasons were, I didn't ask him. Low man on the totem pole, so I just say yes. Uh, and uh, and so I've done two three to six shows instead of one to three. Um, negative part of that is also being the new guy and the low guy on the totem pole when the Yankees were on the West Coast trip. Uh, they were going to be done right around the time, right in the middle of my show, so they just bumped my show and uh, gave the guy who goes three to six like an extra hour, half hour, whatever, whatever it worked out to be. But uh, I hear that I, I may have opportunities for that down the road. Yeah, oh, to, okay. to pick up additional shifts. That, that that's good. That's always good. Now, is this something? You, so you've been a teacher for a couple of years now, but is this something that you've always wanted to do, or is this like something that you really got into recently? You said, "Hey, uh, you saw the contest. You said, 'Hey, I could do that.'" 
Oh, this has actually been something I always wanted to do. Uh, you know, growing up, um, I've been listening to the fan since it was uh, since it was on 1050. They made a couple station changes since then, but uh, almost since they since they went on the air. And I uh, said whether it was going to sleep at night listening to Steve Summers or whatever game they had on. You know, depending on the season, Mets, Rangers, or Knicks, or waking up to Imus in the morning or listening to Mike and the Mad Dog on the way home. I listen to the fan all the time, so I, it's something I always wanted to do. Uh, when I went to school, I, I was going for history and education and. Uh, uh, it got to a point where I was kind of at a crossroads and I said, you know, I could uh, leave college and go to a place like Connecticut School of Broadcasting and try and get a, a broadcasting degree there. Um, or I should just stick with it and finish up uh, my schooling for history and education. And I chose to go with uh, with history because I, I felt it was, uh, you know, I was looking to begin a family, that kind of stuff. I was looking towards the future and felt like there was a little bit more job security in the teaching field than there was uh, in broadcasting. But it was definitely something that I always, um, always wanted to, you know, hope to get to in the future. And this contest provided that opportunity. Hey, well, that's a fantastic opportunity for you to make it and bust into the business like you did. If you make it through this next year and everything goes well, you have a uh, say. Uh, it's it's going good, and they offer you uh, to extend your contract. Would you continue teaching, or what do you think you would do? Uh, do you, would you do both, or? Um, well, yeah, that would be outstanding if they came to me and said that. Uh, that really would be the dream come true. But um, I, I would depend on it would definitely depend on the circumstances. You know, if it was if it was a one to three thing, it was if I, if I thought it was something that I could do both of them. You know, or maybe uh, you know do one part time. I would definitely consider it and definitely try it out. Uh, if there was a conflict and I had to choose again, it would have to be uh, whatever was best for my family at the time. You know, whether if, if I had to choose between uh, teaching and broadcasting. But I, I would definitely love to work it out where I could do both things at the same time. I know that time doesn't always allow that, but that would be the ultimate goal is to be able to do both. So. Yeah, that'd be great. So it's, you said you love to do both. You love to teach, and this has always been a dream of yours. And God, it'd be it, uh, hope to God you get that that contract extension because a voice like that belongs uh, on the airwaves. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I hope I have that problem to deal with. I hope I have to make that decision someday. Good luck the rest of the year, and hopefully, maybe next time if we have you on, you'll be uh, that full time employee for WFAN. Yeah, that, that'd be great, and uh, I'm happy to come on anytime, Christian. Hey, happy to have you on anytime, Pat. Again, guys, that was uh, Pat McGlynn. He's the 2015 Fantasy Phenom Contest winner. If you're ever driving around one late one Friday night between 1 and 3, tune in to WFAN. Give him a listen. I'm sure you'll love him. Thanks for listening. Check us out at hipnewjersey.com for more. For more on this segment, visit hipnewjersey.com.